ring discovered around Haumea. Scientists made a massive space discovery around Haumea, but what the spock is that? Haumea is one of the solar system's dwarf planets. It's noted for its American football-like shape. Named after the Hawaiian goddess of childbirth, Haumea is orbited by two moons, and according to a new nature study, a giant ring system. The only other celestial bodies observed to present a ring system are Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune, and Uranus. While Earth takes 365 days to orbit the Sun, Haumea takes close to 284 years to do so. Which means Haumean winters are epically longer than those in Westeros. It isn't the final frontier, it's just the beginning. Stargazers to attempt alien communication in 2018. A group of space-gazing dudes are gonna try and communicate with aliens, but some reckon it might doom us all. A group known as Messaging Extraterrestrial Intelligences, or METI, will in 2018 attempt to message alien life. According to CNET, most concur the message should consist of physics and math, as these are forms of knowledge aliens likely hold in common with humanity. However, many scientists, including Stephen Hawking, worry that such a message could put Earth in danger. Previous attempts to communicate with alien civilizations have included sending out the formula for alcohol and Craigslist advertisements. But if anything, let's hope they don't beam up a YouTube comments section. Huh, we'd be insta-vaporized for sure. Better call the alien welcome party, for now. This is KIC 8762852, aka Tabby Star. Since October 2015, it had space buffs lit with speculation that it's an alien super science. Except, it's not. Dyson spheres are theoretical cosmic megastructures. They envelop a planet with energy absorbing technology which directs power to a central location. Some astronomers previously theorized the dimming of Tabby's star was caused by this. This star is located 1,280 light years from Earth. New research using data from NASA's Spitzer and Swift space telescopes suggests the dimming is actually due to a dust cloud orbiting the star. Known as circumstellar dust, NASA says these particles are not small enough to fly into space, but also not big enough to block light all the time on all wavelengths. But they can't be absolutely positively sure, so we're still holding out for the Death Star. The US and Russia are going to build an epic space base. The Deep Space Gateway. That may sound like some sort of science fiction fantasy, but it could soon be science reality. NASA and Russia's space agency Roscosmos has signed an agreement to work on a new space station near the moon. The proximity of the Deep Space Gateway to the Moon would create opportunities for lunar missions and future deep space exploration, such as missions to Mars and beyond. Space agencies from Japan, Europe and Canada are also interested in working on the project that is currently at the conceptual stage of design. Once complete, NASA says it hopes to use the base to extend the presence of humanity in the solar system. Mission complete. A team of scientists have finally returned to civilization after completing a NASA-funded isolation experiment to simulate life on Mars. The six-person High Seas Mission 5 crew lived in a dome on the Mars-like landscape of Hawaii's Mauna Loa volcano for eight months. The dome was equipped with a kitchen, bathroom, common area, and six individual bedrooms. Though not confined to the inside, the crew were required to don spacesuits whenever they went outside. While in the habitat, the crew conducted scientific research, equipment testing, and resource tracking. They also had to learn to prepare food using dehydrated and shelf-stable ingredients. Communication with the outside were subject to a delay of 20 minutes, the same amount of time it takes for signals to reach Mars from Earth. To better understand the psychological impacts of a long-term space mission, they were fitted with sensors that gauged their moods and monitored interactions with other members. The mission is the fifth in a series of six studies designed to help NASA select crews that can do well on an expedition to the Red Planet. The sixth and final High Seas mission will also last for eight months and is slated to begin in January of 2018. NASA gets slingshot power-up in most epic game of asteroids ever. 
If Hollywood's taught us anything, it's to avoid asteroids at all cost. Unless you're Bruce Willis or this beastly spacecraft. NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft will fly by Earth on Friday as part of its mission to investigate the Bennu asteroid. The spacecraft will slingshot around Earth and then use the planet's orbit to get an 8,500 mile per hour speed boost to help it on its way to Bennu. The Bennu asteroid was discovered in 1999. Its 500 meter size is taller than Taipei 101, one of the tallest buildings in the world. NASA believes investigation of it may lead to a deeper understanding of some of the universe's most fundamental questions. Or it might lead Thanos, Frieza, and Doomsday right to us. Yikes. What's hiding on the dark side of Venus? For the first time ever, scientists are studying Venus's mysterious night side and have found that it's vastly different from its day side. It takes Venus 225 days to revolve around the sun and 243 days to fully rotate on its axis. As a result, night and day on the planet last longer than on Earth. So far, the day side has been studied extensively, but the night side has been notoriously difficult to observe until now. Venus's atmosphere consists of strong winds blowing 60 times faster than the planet's rotation. This super rotation has been assumed to be uniform in both sides, but new data shows the winds are more chaotic and irregular on the night side. Night side clouds formed large, wavy, filament-like patterns, not seen in day clouds, and are dominated by stationary waves, which remain still and do not move with the atmosphere. Stationary waves are thought to form specifically over steep mountainous areas, but were recently detected in the planet's southern hemisphere, an area with low elevation. The waves were likewise assumed to be rising up through the cloud from the surface, but were mysteriously missing from the lower and intermediate cloud levels. Scientists have yet to explore what this means, but will likely need to come up with new, updated models of Venus to help them figure it out. Water on Earth may have come from beyond the stars. Hundreds of billions of years ago, beyond what we know as time, the gas giants of Saturn and Jupiter formed in a solar system-wide fireworks display, and our very existence might be a result of that cosmic spectacle. A study published in the journal Icarus suggests that Earth's water is a simple byproduct of giant planet growth. During the formation of gas giants such as Saturn or Jupiter, they enter a period of rapid growth. This destabilized nearby water-rich space rocks, known as planetismals, bringing them into the planetary orbit. Next, the gravity there would have propelled these to the inner or outer solar system. The researchers speculate some were sent in an inward direction towards some early form of Earth and seeded it with water. So in other words, if Jupiter or Saturn didn't go boom, boom, shake, shake the cosmos, water may not have come to Earth, and life as we know it may never have existed. 